профессор Ауртова. Нет. Dear Yamo, I have the most wonderful news for you. I have discovered a miracle, a living miracle. His name is Ivan. For 20 years, Ivan had been a prisoner of the Soviets, working in a mine breaking rocks with his bare hands and washing them in freezing cold water. All this for a little bit of gold. And then one day, the guards were gone. Ivan ran, expecting to be captured at any moment. But no one followed. At the age of 10, Ivan had seen his father beaten to death by prison guards. From that moment, he never uttered a word. Everyone thought he was done. But inside him, he had a treasure. Oh, Yamo, this is the miracle. Ivan is the last surviving member of the Vastyakh people. He is the only human being who speaks Vastyakh, the missing tongue that proves the Finnish language. Oh, Yamo, do you realize what this means? No, da, da, da. Of course you do. You more than anyone. Ivan had never known any life outside the prison camp. But when he started to make his home in the forest, he suddenly knew how to hunt, how to make clothes, how to make fire. The spirits of his ancestors Dusha was speaking to him across the centuries. And he made himself a drum. A drum, Yamu. Ivan had become a shaman, a Vastyash shaman. And as he drummed, words started to come to him, words of power. He communed with the spirits of the forest. It was as if he had been reborn. He felt that he could see centuries back into the past and forward into the future. And yet, yet, a time 
was no longer in a straight line for him. He could read the past, the present, and the future at will, like reading pages from a book. When I first encountered him, near the village where I was making my recordings, he was like a shy animal. It didn't help that I spoke to him in Russian. Russian was the language of his tormentors. But very soon, he was eagerly teaching me Vastyak words. Nena. Sormet. Sormet. Kädet. Käsi. Sormus. Sormus. Ivan. Well, it took me a long time to persuade him, but he finally agreed to come and see you. He will arrive on Saturday. I hope you will be able to meet him, and I will arrive on Sunday. And we can introduce him at the Congress next week. Imagine how shocked they will be. Proof, living proof, that Finnish is a close relative of Native American languages that will really make the nationalists howl with rage. This is Professor Ortova's famous country retreat. Zemichatina. Very nice. I'm flattered. Will I be meeting your wife? No, she's abroad in Sweden, visiting a sick relative. Oh, but I was so looking forward to meeting this saintly woman who has looked after you for 15 <laughs> years. What about Ivan? Have you invited him? No dice. I put him in a hotel. He's sleeping at the top. Uh, let's hope he doesn't wake up in the middle of the night and start beating his drum. <coughs> he did that once in Moscow. It was very difficult for me to explain to him that it's just not done. He won't make any more noise than the discotheque next door. <coughs> now, as an odor, the house is offering smoked salmon, Followed by roast wood grouse and a lemon sorbet dessert. But first, reindeer pâté. Ambara de richesse. Merci. There's also 
a bottle of vodka. For reasons of neutrality, it is neither Finnish nor Russian, but Polish. <laughs> An excellent compromise. To the Finno-Ugric languages. To the Finno-Ugric languages. And after dinner, a good soaking in the sauna. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> naked Finnish style. Will we be whipping each other's backs with fir branches? <laughs> Statistics tell us that one of the 6,000 languages spoken on this earth dies out every two weeks. And with everyone that dies, a little bit of truth dies too. Oh, whereas I would argue that the contrary is true. The fewer there are left, the more we move towards the truth. Towards the one pure language which contains them all. The true meaning of things is hidden from us. It lies beyond the boundaries of any one language. Everyone tries to arrive at it with their own um, insertion, an imperfect language. But no one language can do it on its own. Every single language is necessary for the survival of the universe. A dying language is like a dying man, unfortunate though it may be. Вот такая жизнь. Вот такая жизнь, да, да, да. It's just a fact of life. So, let's be a little more frank, dear girl. You want to use your Ivan. Your Vostiach. To prove that our pure Finnish language is really Red Indian, or whatever you fashionable young people call the savages these days. That Helsinki was once an encampment of the Sioux warriors in war paint and feathers. That I am a distant descendant of Yarmo Sitting Bull that I should carry a tomahawk. <laughs> Russian woman, you will never have my scalp. You know, Yarmo, there is another language we can use here. Not one that you need to read or write. But one that is spoken all over the world. But remember, for Russians, seduction is, is being able to talk to each other. For us, emotion is paramount. And nothing stirs our emotions more powerfully than well-chosen words. Remember, the 
Бог. Вот. Израиль. Okay. 